Good day, mate. Today we're in the outback. We're hunting for the crocodiles. And uh, me and Bruce Bogtrotter. Today we're on a secret mission, me and Bruce Bogtrotter. We're uh, at Armthorpe, dangerous place to be. We're in the hunt of an underground bunker. And I've, uh, I've just spotted it. So, uh, I'll see you when we we'll get there. Hello. Today, uh, me and Bruce are on the hunt for a, a bunker from World War II. It's not actually a proper bunker, it's what's called a decoy bunker. It was built in 1942 or something. Uh, basically, they were designed to... There'd be a fake airstrip here. With lights on it, fake bunkers and stuff. And uh, it was basically to draw fire up, but bombing away from Finland and other uh, airports. So it's called a decoy bunker. The uh, the airstrip and the decoys, as they call them, are no longer here. Uh, but the bunker is the fake bunker, the decoy bunker, should I say? And uh, I think I've just uh, basically got out on a whim here because I'm not sure. I wasn't sure exactly where it were. As you can see, there's uh, IKEA over there. There's some other factories. The new one that looks like the sky. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, but after looking at satellite images, I think I've spotted it. And then I've come out here and I've had to walk a fair bit, so I brought a dog. And uh, after a bit of walking around, thinking I'm not going to find it, I've just spotted looks like some sort of concrete, well, brick structure sticking out of some bushes. And I think that's it. So I've got to traipse across this field. As you can see, nobody's going to see me. Because I'm all camoed out. Stealth mode, you know. I've seen a lot of footprints. It's hard going, this chuffing field, with it being ploughed. I've seen a lot of, uh, I think the deer footprints. I think they're deer, aren't they? Comment in the description below if I'm wrong. Getting a bit closer now. I'm just hoping it's the right thing. And if you can see it, just near that, con that pile of bricks. I'm hoping that's it. Hey, me being an eco warrior, I don't like to see rubbish just thrown. This is why you shouldn't let birthday balloons, alien balloons go. Look at that. Because basically they come down somewhere else in country and litter, litter environment. There's a bit here at all. Look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to take it home and put it in bin. Every little bit helps. Keep our countryside beautiful. I've only walked 20 yards and there's another one look. I found it. That weren't too bad. You can see next right over there. Literally in the middle of uh, three fields or four fields. I'm just looking over this field here, and there's you probably can't see it on camera, but there's two swans in, in, in field. Oh, there's a, there's a whole gang of them over there. Look one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We can see about 20, 20, 20 swans foraging on this field. I'm sorry about the audio, it's, uh, it is a bit windy out there, a bit exposed. Here we go, look. in the doorway in obviously it's been collapsed down another one up you can see quite a solid looking structure to be fair it's uh, it's all brick and then uh, reinforced concrete roof Yeah. We'll get a 360 shot and then we'll go in. Oh. Ouch! <laughs> This, uh, it's got a chimney or something here. I'm glad I come this time of year to be fair because if I was coming summer this would have been chaos. Oh, I think this time of year, well, any time of year, these bastards rip you to shreds. Oh, wow. Bigger than I expected it to be, to be honest. I thought it was going to be a little tiny thing, but it's quite a great big, big thing. I'm not sure seeing uh, what it looked like back in the day. Look at these here. Oh. You can see, look. I'm going to have to get my camera out for this, I think. Let me torch you, I mean. Ooh. As you see, there's a tin, tin roof there. I don't know what these are for. Yeah, decoy bunker. So I've come all the way from over there, cars parked right over there, near the main road. doing hmm right I'm gonna try and uh, get in down this way oh, she'll stay here. this is a little old down that way but looks like I'd have to crawl I'd rather jump than crawl uh, take me back Spider Man! And they all chuck me back down there. There we go. Ow! Oh, 
top went good, I just landed on my ankle. Bastard. There you go. Look. Been for air. Check that out. Out that way. So yeah, you've got one one room there, and then you've got this room here, which is all concrete. I wonder if this was some some sort of ammunition storage. It's got concrete platforms in here. It's got air vents things here as well. I'm not sure. I'm not an expert, but. I'm wondering if they used to have ammunition in here and then the, the belt feed would go up there perhaps up to the turret gun if there was a gun. I don't know. It just seems odd to have two very smooth pipes going up that come out of the top. Pieces of rebarb sticking out. Little pipe there. Fourth concrete as well. It's a bit like the one we saw at the, uh, the satellite dishes. Uh, very so these walls would have been up straight, obviously, and they've been. I don't know if they've been pushed in or. And I thought they've probably been pushed in to keep people out. I can't see, can't see where they're doing that. I'd be interested to know what these big concrete blocks are for though. But yeah, to say it's uh, what? 40, 60, 70. say it's 80 year old or more, it's, uh, it's not in bad nick. It just goes to show you when things are left. Ah, took way away from people. Oh, goodness, eh? Away from people, they uh, survive much better. This would have been completely ran, trashed and bulldozed by now if it was uh, near the city centre or whatever. Yeah, very strange. Yeah, cool little uh, explore that. It's got a little trough on it. I'll have to have a look at pictures of it when it was in operation, see if I can find any. See what I'm looking at. So I'm just not sure. If you know what that is, leave me a comment. Yeah, pretty cool.
I think I'm going to be sliding down this. Booth! <laughs> Who can get fuck off? Oh. Oh. Are you ready? Woo! <laughs> Bruce, where are you? Where's the airlock? Hey, the GoPro P. Are you ready to go back? I noticed some old buildings over there. Might walk that way that way back. Have a quick gander. But yeah, I'm Thorpe Decoy Bunker. Amazing it's still stood after all these years. Yeah. Ooh. It's hard going this. Interesting fact of the day. When you're walking across fields and open plains, keep your eye out for meteorites. Metallic lumps of rock. They'll have fell from the sky at some point and when they land on, maybe not on fields like this as such with all the stone, but when they land on fields and things they stick out they're normally dark and burnt looking could be worth millions of pounds if you find a good one so uh, yeah you can test if it's a meteorite by uh, getting a magnet on it, see if it's, if it's got iron in it they normally look like a like a rusty rock. So yeah, tip of the day. Keep your eye out for meteorites. What were I saying about these bloody balloons? Another fucking one in there, look. That's three just in one edge row. this was interesting when I uh, when I was on my way I was walking down this path it's obviously used for cattle because you can see the, the amount of cattle tracks on the floor and if you can see that on here there's just loads and loads of little footprints all over but yeah it's like a like a cattle run you know uh, it's made out of telegraph poles Dirty piece of it. you can see there's all sheep hair on this on the outside so it looks like he uh, uses this as a way of getting them in and out of uh, transport from field you know like box them in and then park a truck there probably and uh, scare them into the back of it pretty just thought it was pretty cool uh, it smells like well, like uh, farm as well. <sighs> yeah, like manure. Whoever said farmers aren't cool. He's got giant little Lego bricks over there. Anybody who owns Lego is cool. Especially giant ones. by the big pile of logs and the fact the power lines have all been cut down that this whatever used to be here where there was a building a farm or something is obviously no longer uh, used I'm going to go and check it out because there's well there is a building I can see Right, you're gonna have to excuse the audio because I've got wind gushing from that direction and then there's a motorway on this side. It's right next to the motorway. Obviously the farmer's using this for storage. He don't want anybody through there, does he? This one smells good. Must be all that hay. I'll have a quick look, see if they're interesting. Are you coming, Bruce? He's like, I don't know how to get through. You can get through that bit, look. 
they look like carrots. Yeah, they're carrots. I can pull one out. I think. There's gonna be some big ass carrots on that if that's a carrot. I'm sure that's a carrot. Oh. Get it out. Yeah, it's definitely a carrot. He's obviously left it a trailer full of carrots there and they've uh, gone rogue. Oh, rain. It's spitting. I'm like an air noise. I think it's just roof rattling. Oh, look at this here. What's this here? What's that there? Some sort of collapsed building there. Oh. I think it's just farmer's sto storage. Oh, oh look, a horse. Is that a horse? Like a horse. Oh, <laughs> old shed look. A fridge freezer. Don't know what this is over here. like loads of scrap the rain's coming now get messy that was a nice one Third to do grab pigeon Check this out. I can get to it. Ouch. That's my favorite thing about that. What's this? It's a fucking horse. I hate smell of farms. I don't mind a bit, but not when it's full on. Not when it's full on smelly. It's like a baler, I think that. Yeah, it's just storage. I don't know. Yeah, the back comes down, look. Perhaps for transporting bales or something. I wonder if that's how they make them big round ones. What can you smell? Rats.
Oh, that smells better. Looks like being in a Mills and Boom book. I say you'll off a bit windy. smell of hay can we go out that way? no <laughs> but there's some rats in here bros but there's some mice and stuff in here right when we back to the car Thanks for watching. Bye from me. Bye from Bruce. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> you got A on you. <laughs> Bye from Hamthorpe. Peace out.